If you're looking at buying a PAM solution, you need to listen to the five common misconceptions or myths about PAM in this video. I see these questions asked a lot during the sales cycle when someone's trying to buy a PAM solution, and I want to dispel them before you get to that stage. PAM solutions integrate with your identity providers like Active Directory. The idea is to pull these accounts into the PAM solution so you can control, audit, and monitor these accounts but they don't directly integrate in a way where you're going to be assigning roles in the PAM solution. So if you're gonna assign someone a domain administrator role or similar, you're actually still going to do that inside Active Directory or whoever your identity provider is. PAM is not a direct replacement for a password manager. The intention is to control your privileged accounts rather than control every single password within an organization. Yes, you do need passwords to get in everything, but some accounts have more privileges than others. So you wanna be controlling things like your global administrators in Entra, your domain administrators in Active Directory, privileged service accounts, privileged local accounts, or anything similar that's important. You're not too worried about things that people keep in password manage managers, such as a Facebook login or something similar. You're gonna have administrators looking after this platform and you want them to be focused on securing the environment rather than worried about everyone's personal data or personal login information, or even corporate login information that's not privileged and can't be as harmful if they're compromised or something bad happens. Implementing a PAM can be simple. I have four steps on my website and also a video about this if you wanna go and watch it. If you implement it in these tiered steps, it's actually really easy to discover, import, and understand where these accounts are. Once you've done that, you can grow and grow and grow the privilege access management and focus on things like your domain administrators, privilege service accounts, or any other privileged accounts that you have in your environment. If you start small and grow it, it becomes a very easy solution to implement. If you're buying a PAM solution for compliance and you're trying to reduce the total number of administrators within your environment, it may not be the solution for you. Because PAM accounts import and control your accounts in your identity provider, you might not actually reduce the amount of accounts. What you will understand is you will discover all of these privileged accounts, and then you'll be able to import and control them. PAM typically doesn't integrate with your Active Directory or identity provider to the point where you can disable and delete accounts. So if you're looking for that kind of solution, maybe PAM is not gonna solve that problem for you. Using shared accounts almost is always a bad idea. Even using a PAM solution, shared accounts are still not advised. The reason for this is because in typical PAM solutions like Delinea, you can actually launch sessions into RDP or SSH. And if you're using a shared account, you might actually log each other out. So it really disrupts the workflows that you have within your environment. If you're also uh, relying on it for logging, if a shared account is used, yes, you'll be able to see which user launched a session or accessed a secret at a certain time within the PAM solution itself. But by the time that they've logged in and maybe done something funky and disruptive, such as disabling services or turning off computers or doing something malicious, you'll have to then try and tie those audit logs back to that shared account. And you'll get a good idea of who was using it, but it's better if you can just match those logs from the PAM solution straight into whatever systems they've accessed. It makes the discovery and threat hunting much, much easier. Well, those are the five myths that I've debunked in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please check out my other videos and like and subscribe. It does really help. Thank you.